Nancy Barnes, and you're watching News 12 Connecticut. One of the biggest races was the 4th Congressional District primary to decide which Democrat will face Chris Shays for his seat in Congress. And that will be Jim Himes, who handily defeated his challenger, Lee Whitnam. News 12 Connecticut's Christy Facenda is in Norwalk, where Jim Himes has been checking the numbers tonight. Christy, what's the reaction like where you are? Numbers from AAA show that the pain at the pump in Connecticut is starting to hurt drivers a little less. And because accidents do happen and children children are unpredictable, it's so important for families to know if their cars do have BTSI. Milford police are looking for a man who posed as a police officer and pulled over a 29-year-old woman. First, let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jamie Booth. Jamie, it's really been, it was a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Jamie, thank you. The Olympic Games in Beijing are providing inspiration to kids right here in southwestern Connecticut. Some young gymnasts today got a jump start on their training at Tumblebug's Gym in Greenwich. Coach Isaac Isaac Garcia, the regional director of Tumblebug, says watching the Olympic Games can help give the kids a goal. Garcia says even the smallest victory for his students makes his job worthwhile. This is a new town and country, and as you see, if I try to put this into gear, I can't do it. I have to step on the brake to get the car into gear. It's a feature most of us have on our cars and don't even think about, and most of us don't know what it's called. Uh, I'm not sure. It's something you might think you know about. Is that the extra latch and everything? Or you might be unsure. I'm not sure, actually. You might even admit not knowing about it. I don't even know what BTSI is. BTSI is a brake transmission interlock system, and it might have saved the lives of Michelle McIntosh and three children at Beardsley Park if her husband's speculations are correct. Probably one of the kids got out the van, probably just eager to get out the van, and probably must have touched the gear or something, and um, the van started to move or... Uh, that, that, that's one of my speculation. And that could have happened. The van that rescuers pulled from the water was a 1999 Plymouth Voyager, and it did not have BTSI. Car expert Jim Motivalli says it's a no-brainer for auto manufacturers to install the device. I think it should be a standard feature in all cars, particularly because it only costs about $9 per vehicle, so it's hardly a huge expense for them. And he says once you buy a car with no BTSI, that's it. Once you don't have it, you're never going to have it. And for busy, sometimes frazzled moms, that can be a major liability. You know, we try very hard not to leave our children in the car alone and things like that, but accidents do happen. And because accidents do happen and children are unpredictable, it's so important for families to know if their cars do have BTSI. If you want to find out about your car or the safety of other cars, you can log on to our website, news12.com. Click on numbers and links. There you'll find a link to the National Highway Transportation Safety Association's website, as well as safercar.gov. In Norwalk, Nancy Barnes, News 12, Connecticut. Electric blue eyes and movie star looks, a love of fast cars. Oscar quality performances. Driving us crazy and loving every minute of it. This is what the world remembers about movie star Paul Newman. It's when the people in the community uh, gather together to help the other people inside the community, which is what. Um, I, I mostly appreciate. But in southwestern Connecticut, Newman made an impact as a political activist, family man, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Far from the glitz of Hollywood, the Newmans moved their family to Westport in the early 60s when mom and pop shops still lined Main Street. Well, you know how it is, small town. Not much to do in the evening. <laughs> it wasn't long before they made their mark on Westport at the Westport Country Playhouse, where wife Joanne Woodward has served as artistic director for many years. But it was Paul Newman's political activism and philanthropy that had the deepest impact. If we are to have faith and justice, we need only to believe in ourselves. And act with justice. He campaigned for Democrats and testified in Hartford about issues important to him. That they can create something that looks like me, that talks like me, that quacks like me, that moves like me, but is not protected because it isn't me. In the late 90s, he donated large amounts of money and time to successfully protect Easton's Trout Brook Valley. You know, 50 years from now, when people will be living right on top of each other, this open land is going to be really valuable. And much like the character Cool Hand Luke, he inspired others around him to rise to the occasion. Newman's Zone is prepared to pledge a half a million dollars uh, over the next five years uh, to help buy this land and uh, hopefully to encourage other private interests to uh, 
to make a contribution. And always with a sense of humor. There was this booth outside, and you can buy the spaghetti sauce as you leave. <laughs> Of course, he was referring to his company, Newman's Own, making everything from salad dressings to ice cream and steak sauce with a new organic line all run by his daughter, Nell. Since it was formed in 1982, Newman's Own has given more than $200 million to charity. It's a small price to pay for beauty. Tipping his hat to one of his most popular films, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Newman created the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp for kids with cancer and serious blood diseases in 1988 in Ashford. Since then, thousands of kids have benefited from his mission. He leaves behind Habitat for Humanity Homes in Bridgeport, an organic restaurant, the dressing room behind the Westport Country Playhouse, millions of fans, and hundreds of thousands of grateful beneficiaries of his charitable works. Thank you all, and thanks for coming. Pink and pleasant, close in the dark, cause it's iridescent. Take it with you.